In this video, I'll give you a taste of what the MC might do in a manga or manhwa where he starts off weak but later becomes stronger. I'll give you a list of most powerful scenes in the manga and manhwa and what he does afterwards. If you're looking for a read on how to start making waves in your field, then this video is definitely one for you. In this video, we're going to be giving you some of the top 10 manhwas and mangas where the MC starts off weak but later becomes stronger. You'll see a lot of things that will engage you from startups to dramas to action. Let's begin. Number 10, we have... The Star of a Supreme Ruler The mighty crimson star of the Supreme Ruler has appeared. The child who receives the energy of the star would grow to become the supreme leader and also become the legendary star that will rule over the world. Chuan Ryong, someone who is very intelligent but always finds himself in difficult situations, the only place for him is Murim anyway. Dok Gosiol, an unrivaled female martial master who is both beautiful and strong. There is a rule that the owner of the supreme ruler castle has to be a man, therefore she has a chance at it too. Pung Woon, who has a suspicious past and unknown martial art capabilities, the strength of the martial artists that are hidden in him. There can only be one supreme ruler, the intense aspirations and love that takes place while fighting for that one position and numerous last minute schemes and betrayals. Who will become the owner of the supreme ruler's castle? The story of those who will bring turbulence into the world is about to start. Number 9. Northrend Train X47 Now comes another one on the list. This manga is really good. If you want a weak MC suddenly became OP, then, well, this one is for you. This was a person who was bitten by the mutant Mayfly, and the protagonist's family of five set foot on the hard seat green train X47 to go home for the year. New Year, of course. The train headed north, the temperature dropped to minus 13 degrees, and the people attacked by the float suddenly mutated. Number 8. Evolution Frenzy After his death, Duan Fei regresses 20 years back in time just to a few key hours before the virus catastrophe is set to begin, and was given a chance to remedy the great and regret he has shouldered for the past 20 years. Yeah, 20 long years, buddy. He utilizes all the knowledge he has amassed prior to his regression to arm himself in preparation for the oncoming apocalypse. His newly acquired evolutionary tree is also helping him constantly improve his strength. Number 7. Lord of the Abyss Zhang Mangyu, who obtained mysterious powers in an accident, embarked on the road to upgrade the Abyss system and become a player in order to obtain a better life for his family. Faced with many challenges in the player's career, he found that the beginning of all of this was not an accident, but an arrangement of fate in the underworld. Number 6. Shindorim The world as we know it ended. Radiation covered the world above ground and turned it into hell. Yes, hell and humanity headed deep into the underground, using the world's most developed underground humanity technology and the network as its backbone. The underground city of Shindorin, and we thought we could not enter the underground city, but it was left behind in hell, so we had to get strong. And we did! Number 5. The Monstrous Girl Childhood friends Suang Hua, Do Gi, and Sang Min continue their cherished friendship even when they entered high school. However, their friend Sang Min disappeared due to the appearance of the grotesque creatures called Gui. As a search for their friend Sang Min, they found a few secrets. Number 4 Guard Pass Lim Sujin, who likes to eat, is fat and has a large physique, he has high self-esteem and a firm personality, and that doesn't even care about being teased for being fat. He has only one friend, Seo Hajin. She has always been learning jujitsu to protect Sujin since childhood, but one day Sujin has trouble with a delinquent in the same class and Hajin sees it and destroys that delinquent. 
But one night, Hajin is found severely beaten and suffers from a badly injured knee and more serious psychological trauma. Sujin, or Sijun in this case, tries to tell the police, but when the investigation doesn't match the progress, he can't control his anger and goes to find the culprit himself, but he's defeated by the delinquent who learned jiu-jitsu and finds nothing. Number 3. Solo Bug Player Taepong Shin knows every nook and cranny of his favorite MNO video game. He does. That's insane, isn't it? Totally does. Woohoo! But he loads it at the back of his hand as well. However, his gaming adventures suffer an abrupt, and I mean abrupt. I mean, should I say abrupt? Should I not? Okay, yeah, it's, it's abrupt and untimely death. But this is not his last hurrah since he's reincarnated as Jared, a delinquent lord of the frozen province. In Paradiso! Now he must brave the world he loved and take advantage of all the glitches he knows about and turn himself into the main character of his new solo adventure. Number 2. Sleeping Ranker The main character has a problem sleeping in the real world, so he sleeps in the VR MMO game. After he had completed 10,000 hours of sleep in the game, he unlocked a secret legendary class with very powerful overpowered skill set. The main character, this is that this class has some potential, and if he takes the game seriously now, he can level up family and then others and make a ton of cash along the way. The story is good, but a little bit generic and is more focused on drama. The art is amazing, it shines the most during fight scenes. Number 1. Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint Back then, Dogja had no idea, he had no idea his favorite web novel, Three Ways to Survive, The Apocalypse was going to come to life, and that he would become the only person to know how the world was going to end. He also had no idea he would end up becoming the protagonist of this novel turned reality. Now, Dogja will go on a journey to change the course of the story and save humankind once and for all. The art is pretty good and it's competently done. The design of the characters and any world in this is not particularly original, but it's hard to deny that it's executed beautifully. Well, that's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video and our list, of course. If you did, for real, make sure you slap that like button and get the like button to go blue. Also, feel free to head to the comment section and let us know your thoughts about the video, too. And as for now, I'll catch you guys later. My name is Zira Khan, and I'm the voice of the voiceless. See you later. Peace.